Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. Today we're going to be looking at the Raycop Mattress Vacuum Cleaner. I just got this uh, about an hour ago at a thrift store. That's what I paid. It says as is, so I was hoping that everything was here, and I believe that it is. We've got a, uh, I think a pretty long cord, a little Velcro strap to keep it all together. Um, this is a vacuum cleaner that's designed for mattresses to pick up um, dust, particles, dander from pets, hair. Uh, it will also pick up bed mites, their droppings, their eggs. Um, it has a UV light on it as well, or underneath, um, and I'll show you that. That will kill, supposedly, staph, E. coli, and influenza A. So my whole family is just recovering from uh, the flu here. It's 2024 now. And uh, right at the end of December, we all got um, we all got sick. I was the last person. I was hoping, taking uh, lots of vitamins and stuff, hoping I would not get it. But I did get it. And um, I've had it for about four days now. So I'm going to use this. It came to me right in time. Um, I found it just in time. I want to use this on our bed. We haven't cleaned the sheets yet because it's right there where we don't know whether we're completely over it or not. I think we are. They are. And I think I am too. Um, and I don't want to have a relapse. So I'm going to use this on our uh, bedding and the mattress as well. Uh, let's go ahead and look at uh, the filter. The filter is right here. Now I just got finished cleaning this. Uh, what I used was a paper, t uh, I just ran it under water and uh, used a uh, paper towel. Here's the filter. It's a cloth material on uh, one, two, on four different sides. What I did was I ran it under water until everything was clean. And then I used a uh, paper towel and just blotted it dry. It took about two minutes to get this completely dry. So uh, I feel good now about putting this back because it's not wet anymore. Uh, it goes back in this little canister. Just here's where it'll be sucked up at. And uh, how did it go? Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. So just grab it right here and yeah, grab it from the side, pull it straight up. Same thing. Just push it down um, in reverse. We have two lights right here that will show up to show us that we have our uh, UV light on. Now the UV light will only come on when it's really close to the uh, to the mattress or whatever you're vacuuming um, bed sheet. Um, and so I don't know if I'll be able to show it to you. Uh, I'll try to do that. Um, I've only turned it on a couple of times. So uh, there's a reset button here. I don't know. You have to have something really small to reset that. Uh, a pretty long cord. Velcro. I don't know if I said it or not, but a Velcro uh, strap to uh, keep it together. It's really nice. Uh, here is what it looks like underneath. Uh, we have an impulser here. This is really important here. So when you start vacuuming, let's just say you're vacuuming um, a comforter, uh, you're going to have the UV light come on and start killing, um, sterilizing, I should say. Then you're going to have the vacuum sucking up. Uh, they've got little wheels here, make it easier to push. And you got a pulsator here. This is going to be moving. It's gripping and moving the surface. And what that supposedly does if, is that if there's like dust mites, they have, you know, little claws that try to grip, um, I guess, if they get scared. And uh, this will like break that grip and then suck them up. So, um, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty diabolical design. Um, supposedly this was designed by a doctor, immunologist. I'm not exactly sure about that, but that's what I've read. There's another filter here. How do you get... Okay, yeah, there's another one right here. Yeah. And it looks pretty clean, actually, so uh, I don't think it's probably been used too much. Okay, so let's turn this on. I'll let you hear how loud it is. Uh, I'm going to do it in the bathroom here. Um, 
because there's other people in the home right now, so I don't want to disturb them. So let's plug it. When I plug it up, this light should come on right here. All right, made like three little beeps. Now, if I push it again, these lights will come on because the um, UV light is going to be on. And listen to how loud it is. Pretty loud on this surface. Hopefully, it's not going to be like that. Alright, so the UV light is off. Not so far when it gets close to the surface. Alright, that's pretty. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty disturbing. Hopefully, uh, now it's a. Uh, it's in a standby mode here. Uh, so yeah, that, I didn't like that sound. That sounded pretty. Uh, that sounded pretty loud to me. So we're going to take this to the bed and see if uh, we can get it to work, and see what we suck up. Before going to the bed, we're going to try to practice on this uh, couch here. Hopefully, it's not going to be as loud as it was in the bathroom. With the UV light, you want to make two or three passes back and forth, same place, and that should um, hopefully sterilize what you're trying to do. All right, check it out. If this was like a vacuum cleaner, a home vacuum cleaner, this would be sucking this pillow up. Very gentle. Let's see what we've sucked up. Just on this one count. Oh, look at the filter. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so I wanted to tell you that um, now you saw how I had cleaned this filter right before doing this. This couch, no one even sits on. Look at, now granted I haven't vacuumed it in years. So this is, uh, this is from years. It didn't look that dirty, but look, look at that. Just, I can't even imagine what that probably is. At a microscope, I could probably see some things moving. Okay, so I'm going to clean this again before going to the bed. Um, yeah, I want, it, I want it to be completely clean before doing the bed. Um, I really want to get all those germs, uh, anything that you know could get us sick again. We haven't cleaned our mattress before, so this ought to be interesting. So here we are in the bedroom. I wanted to show you how we're set up here. So here is the mattress pulled the covers off uh, we have a um, a cover a mattress cover it's this foam this kind of this right here I forget what you call these but uh yeah so we don't we don't have our um, sheets directly on the mattress I think it was a little too hard so we got this uh, this cover here so I'm gonna go ahead and do this first the mattress and then we will uh, try cleaning the cover here, which I know is filthy.
doesn't look as bad as I thought. I'll probably just put it back without cleaning and we'll uh, finish up that mattress cover. So really it's not that loud. I had a cat that was actually on the bed and usually our cats are just uh, mortified by the sound of a vacuum cleaner. So uh, it's really easy to use. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, the top of this and then I will uh, probably just change our sheets out because I think we're over the uh, sickness. So I'll just put new sheets on. But I do want to show you if you just want to do your sheets. And you, so I want to demonstrate if you just wanted to do the, your sheets and you were worried about maybe pulling uh, dust, dust mites, whatever, from the mattress to the tops of your sheets. Say you didn't want to do the mattress, you just want to do the top of the sheets. Um, you can do that from what I can tell. This thing is powerful enough to uh, suck up uh, through the sheets. I guess it's according to, you know, how the thread is on your sheets. But, uh, so we just have baking soda here. Uh, we're going to try this out through the sheet. It got most of that up. Um, it's really going to be according to how your uh, thread count is on your sheet. This is a pretty, I don't know the thread count, but I know this is like a thick sheet for winter time really. Um, so obviously it's best to do this straight on the mattress and then probably go up the layers like I did earlier. Uh, I've never done this before, but that's kind of how I figured would be the best way for me. Uh, I'll continue to uh, use this in the future. I'm going to go change, completely change these sheets to new sheets now. I uh, feel pretty good about the mattress being cleaner. I know it is. Um, UV lights worked great, still working. I've been using this for the making of the video, and they haven't had to reset or turn off or cool off. They're still, you know, still doing what they're supposed to. So, uh, yeah, pretty happy with, uh, with the Raycop uh, cleaner. Thanks for watching the video. Until next time, have a nice day. Take care.